Hello Overclockers and welcome to our first episode of BIOS Update for 2023. I hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas and are having a happy new year so far. We're right in the middle of CES so there's plenty of exciting tech launches to talk about, new games to try this month and some gaming setup ideas for the year ahead. So let's dive into it. What better way to kick off 2023 than with free games? And Epic is continuing their freebies well into 2023 with Kerbal Space Program and Shadow Tactics Echo's Choice. Kerbal Space Program is an absolute classic and with the second game arriving on the 24th of February, now is the perfect time to try this highly rated and hilarious space flight simulation game. Echo's Choice is a brand new standalone add-on to the beloved stealth tactics game Shadow Tactics, which has also been available for free several times, so this is a great addition to your library if you enjoyed the original game. You've got a week to claim them and I've dropped the link below. January also brings with it a fresh new roster of Amazon Prime games, which are free for Prime subscribers. If you picked up Dishonored free earlier this week from the Epic Game Store, you can now continue the supernatural assassin story with Dishonored 2. In total, there are 10 different games to keep and the rest includes SNK 40th Anniversary Edition, The King of Fighters 2003, Metal Slug, Rule Bout Fatal Fury 2, The Last Blade, Metal Slug 3, The Last Blade 2, Metal Slug X and Twinkle Star Sprites. Additional Prime gaming rewards include content for games like Fall Guys, Call of Duty, Planetside 2, League of Legends, GTA Online and many more. You've got until the end of January to claim them. The second gaming story this week is exciting news for Payday fans who are eagerly awaiting the third instalment in the series. Developer Starbreeze Studios and publisher Co Media released a brand new teaser trailer and a Payday 3 store page has recently appeared over on Steam. Despite these developments, not a huge amount more information was released, but we do know that 2023 will be the year of Payday 3, so it's likely to launch in the very near future. The short clip of alpha footage is our first glimpse of the game running in Unreal Engine and it reveals the New York skyline and the familiar silhouette of the returning Payday gang. The Steam store page gives us a little bit more information and the storyline will continue several years after the crew's reign of terror over Washington DC has ended with a threat that roused them out of early retirement. If you're interested in Payday 3, I do recommend adding the game to your Steam wishlist as it means you're going to get all those notifications when anything interesting about the game gets shared. And of course, there's plenty to be discussed in the Steam Community Hub and I'll make sure to drop a link to the Steam Store page for Payday 3 below. Moving on to the hardware chapter of BIOS Update and because we're in the middle of CES, there's more launches than I could hope to cover, so do keep an eye out for our short BIOS Flash updates this week. One of the biggest announcements from this year's CES was during the NVIDIA keynote when Jeff Fisher announced the brand new RTX 4070 Ti or Ti. It's a GPU that's been rumored for a while and it's essentially a rebranded version of Nvidia's cancelled RTX 4080 12 gigabyte. Specs include a full AD104 GPU with 7680 CUDA cores, 12 gigabytes of GDR6X memory and an impressive 2.6 gigahertz boost clock speed. Nvidia made the bold claim that it can even vastly outperform the RTX 3090 Ti, although I highly recommend checking out the independent reviews if you want to know how this card really performs, with a real life uplift of around 40% at 1440p versus the 3070Ti. It still uses the controversial new 16 pin connector, however a 2x8 pin adapter is included. The TDP is rated for a rather efficient 285 watts, 5 watts lower than the RTX 3070 Ti. This allows the monstrous coolers of the RTX 4090 and 4080 to be shrunk 
shrunk down to a more case-friendly proportions in most cases. However, this Zotac card is still a really large GPU, so make sure to pay attention to those dimensions. A Founders Edition model is noticeably absent, and the 3070 Ti will launch exclusively as a partner card. At the time of filming, Overclockers UK has cards like the Inno 3D X3 starting at the MSRP of 799, and many other cards available from the likes of Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, and Zotac. Additionally, NVIDIA also announced at CES their brand new mobile graphics options, which are due to launch next month. They come with brand new Max-Q technology such as Whisper Mode and Battery Boost, which improve performance, acoustics and battery life by up to two times. The RTX 40 series flagship laptops 4018 and 4090 start as $2,000 and will be available beginning February 8th with performance from the most powerful options expected to be similar to that of a desktop 4080. Meanwhile, the more mainstream RTX 4050 laptops start at $1,000 and they're going to be available beginning February the 22nd. We'll of course have plenty of options from the likes of Acer, Alienware, Asus, Gigabyte, HP, Lenovo and MSI listed on our website, so do keep an eye out if you're in the market for a laptop upgrade. Moving on to the next story, another big announcement from CES is Intel's next generation mobile processors, which are sure to pair nicely with the previously mentioned Nvidia mobile graphics. Intel introduced a whopping 32 new 13th gen Intel Core mobile processors with a range of different features and capabilities for all areas of the market. The flagship i9-13980HQ offers up to a 5.6 GHz turbo frequency and 24 cores, 32 threads. This makes it the fastest mobile processor with up to 11% faster single thread performance and 49% faster multitask performance over the previous 12th generation. There's also support for up to 128GB of RAM and both DDR4 and DDR5 up to 5600MHz are compatible. HX chips also include support for Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2 and Thunderbolt 4. The more power efficient P and U SKUs will power the next generation of thin and light laptops and compact foldables with supposedly more than 300 different designs coming in 2023 from Acer, Asus, Dell, HP, Lenovo, MSI, Razer, Samsung and others. Additionally, Intel announced the remainder of its 13th gen desktop processor lineup. The new chips are designed for the more mainstream desktop PCs that are going to be coming out with a balance of power efficiency and performance for both gaming and productivity, with a nice healthy performance bump over the previous 12th generation options. The K chips have been around for a little while now, however, if you're not interested in integrated graphics or overclocking, these new, more affordable processors are a great option. They're also backwards compatible with both Z690 and B660 motherboards. Keep an eye on the Overclockers website as we'll be listing these new processors in the next couple of weeks, and of course, the brand new laptops as soon as they launch. Moving on to the blog chapter of BIOS Update, where it's time to look forward to some of the best new games launching this month. There is plenty to look forward to, and we've put together a top five list, which I'm gonna kick off with One Piece Odyssey on January 12th. Your pirate crew is shipwrecked on a tropical island, and it's up to you to defeat dangerous new enemies, combat forces of nature, find your crew, and escape the island. Next up, the latest game from Square Enix, Forspoken, is launching on January 24th, and this RPG is set around the adventure of a reluctant hero trapped in the land of Aethia. Equipped with magical parkour abilities, Frey must explore a fantastical land, defeat twisted monsters, and try to find a way home. The remake of the infamous horror classic Dead Space is due to launch on January 27th, and it reunites players with the nail-biting terror and suspense of the original game. It's been updated for 2023 with terrifying and immersive visuals. The last day of the month brings with it the launch of our two last games. 
Superfuse will be released in early access and you must work to become the ultimate hero. Engage in fast paced combat as you battle through hordes of beasts and super powered foes. In SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake, it's up to two unlikely heroes to save their friends and the future of Bikini Bottom. Repair the fabric of space and time, explore the wish worlds, and watch out for hordes of cosmic jelly. With so many great games coming out in January, let me know if I missed your favorite and leave a comment below which game you are most looking forward to playing this month. Of course, you can read more about all these exciting new releases and also what hardware you're going to need to play them over on the Overclockers blog. New year, new me, nah, new year, new PC is more like it. To inspire your next setup upgrade, the Overclockers UK team have come up with our own list of gaming resolutions. The first one is one that I actually finally completed at the tail end of last year, but why not build your own mechanical keyboard in 2023? It's easier than you might think, and there are near endless customization options to create your dream typing experience. Next, with both Nvidia and AMD launching their latest graphics cards back in 2022, I can't think of a better time for you to start thinking about upgrading your GPU. Availability and pricing have finally begun to stabilize and you can get unbeatable performance in gaming, streaming and content creation. Pairing well with a GPU upgrade is a CPU upgrade, and with the launch of Intel 13th Gen and the recently released Ryzen 7000 series, now is a great time to start thinking about a new platform that can support the latest DDR5 memory and storage speeds. Speaking of storage, you might be feeling the need to expand with so many awesome new games being released this year, and a storage upgrade is a great way to spruce up and refresh your current components. Aside from hardware upgrades, you might want to start streaming for the first time this year, finally improve your accuracy and climb that very difficult ranked ladder, improve your internet speed and reduce that lag rage, or simply spend more time gaming on the go. There are loads of different ideas and more in our gaming resolutions blog post, so make sure to check it out if you're looking to level up in 2023. Thanks for watching our first episode of BIOS Update for 2023. Remember to leave me a comment below, let me know what games you're really looking forward to this year. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you again in the next one.